and it must giving it to someone. Coming soon, Carlo Bear Studios is bringing you with Beyond Movies. We call it a day. Join the Shelly team on Carlo Bear channel and premiering Carlo Bear Beyond Movies on Beyond Cinema. After Carlo Bear's movie premiere. For real? Carlo Bear Channel, and premiering on Vion Cinema, coming soon. Hello everybody, welcome to the Vion Cinema, your movie will begin shortly. Hey, make sure shut up. The movie is about to start. Most importantly, make sure to support the original creator for the making of this movie by subscribing to their YouTube channel. And now, enjoy the movie. We 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 we. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. It's just sometimes when I get up mornings, I always get in the mood for a point. To be honest, there are some certain things, but folks, you guys might wanna hang on tight for a second before I share more stories to you. Well, I wonder I should tune in CNN to see what is the story about what was happening. Vladimir Putin apparently thought that he'd roll right in over Ukraine, roll right in and get right out, right? Maybe not that. We can't talk about politics or something. Well, how about some Go Animate Network, since it's cool. Hello, Hello. I'm Tom Go. Welcome course. to the Bjorn Cinema YouTube channel. This channel will be the official home for the Bjorn movies on YouTube created by other users. And no, we are not going to include movies that revolve around grounded videos, but we will find random Bjorn movies and rare. Well, never mind about some daily TV, all it shows it's just nothing but nothing to special, well except from the Vyond Cinema commercial, sounds cool, but I need some purchases first.
Um, is anybody there? Now, just the hold up. Was it closed or something? But I'm guessing it is. Oh, looks like someone's calling me. Huh, maybe I should answer it. Hello, you've reached Jack Paul resident. What can I help you with? Oh, I was calling you today is because we are having a special announcement today. Like, you got to see this before it's too late. Oh, okay. I'll be there as quick as possible. Bye. Huh, I wonder where is Jack Paul? He should be here by now. Wait, I'm coming. Don't start without me. Well, M. I. Toodling? No, of course not. You're just in time for a special presentation. Alright, let's not waste time and let's get this special presentation started. Now, good morning everyone. Today is going to be a special presentation to all of you. And then next week we are going to introduce to him. So I will show you guys that what's going to happen next week for this special announcements. So, I will give you guys a special guess that what will it be for a special meeting through July. So, we shall see who will be meeting. Wait, could it be? Is that from the Bjorn Cinema owner? Of course it is. Isn't this exciting? Oh boy, 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 oh boy. I can't wait to meet him in the first time. I know, right? But I'm guessing you're kind of dancing too much anyway. Man, I don't even know why Jack Paul is dancing for no reason or something. Well, he was happy and dancing maybe at the same time, because he was very excited to see the being cinema owner. Well, you have a good point there. Alright, Jack Paul, that's enough of dancing. Uh, Jack Paul? Jack Paul, do you understand what I say to you? Jack Paul, I said stop dancing, did you not hear me? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, I always get overreacted to it pretty much the same. Well there's no excuse to dance around even if you overreact yourself, but please, never ever, do that again. Alright, I'm very sorry, I promise it will never happen again. Okay, good, but don't forget, we will do an online meeting during spring day, so have a nice well day off. Well, that was crazy for you. You even didn't even know him at all. But, since when did you actually know this person? Well, you see, when I was watching some daily morning TV, I saw the commercial break and then out of nowhere, there was a Bjorn Cinema ad. Huh, well... I never even watch anything, not even my analog TV that ever since it was switched to digital. Well, looks like I have to get home for some rest, so you have a nice day. Well have a nice day too. Now, what should I cook for dinner at this moment? But however, I don't even have plenty of food, so I got to head to the supermarket. Bro, can I give a ride for shopping too? Well, I was gonna drive off without you, but I didn't know you need supplies too. But okay, I guess so you can hope on. So, have you ever concerned some of your daily news ways like for Fox Business? Cause I ever, and I mean, ever checking it out. Well, um, that's a pretty fascinating reviews, but the point is for Fox Business is the opposite of it, so we shall not tell about it in public. Oh, well good point. Do you even watched it after when he was going nuts? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Boy, 
Tucker just exploded again, so I'm gonna have to replace him for tonight's show. But anyways, we will be back with more news to share. Oh, so you're telling me that Tucker tells us to shut up, and then he goes nuts all over the broadcasts throughout to the people who watched it. Why of course, he's been going through lately after, but when I even get there for a job, things won't be the same for my fellows working here. Well, we should be at the supermarket at any time soon. But so, when did you relax it or whenever you like to spend time on your free time? Well, that's a good question. So on my free time, I was looking forward to my kids having to think for the trip at New York, and consider for the fact on a flight to catch at least three months to go. Alright, so I think we should be arrived by now. All right, so I hear is I want to notify you, we are getting some food supplies even for my children, so it's our job to find their favorite foods, even for my daughter's snack. All right, I'm on it. All right, so I will tell you where to go, and to explore around the Isle of the List in there. So, what do you even want to find at this one? I mean, there are plenty of those suppliers, even. If that's not the case of you. Now, that's gonna be a tough one to choose from the shelf. Ever since when I was a kid, my parents always had some rough decisions for my opportunity of their life. Well, you know what my wife and I like, is some of our fresh pumpkin pie for dessert. So what do you say? Alrighty, sure then bro, let's find it. Now, before we get some pumpkin pie, we need some of vegetables for our daily fitness and for some of my kids as well. But what do you like to eat for your daily diet of yours? Well, for my own favorite of the type of vegetables, is the thing I like is my only favorites is the carrot. What type of vegetables would you interested? Well, I think I have a good idea. I will bring some cucumbers, broccoli and some carrots for you also. So I will get them for some supplies for my children. Not just only up. So that's all we need for some vegetables for our fitness diet. Now all we need is some snacks for our party. And especially for my my children. Then after that, we will get some pumpkin pie next. Now here is what will I get from the chips aisle. I will grab them some burritos for the boys. Then I will give my daughter for tackies. So, what kind of chips would you choose for our family party? Some Lay's chips for your house party. So that's all we need for our supplies for today. So now, are you ready to get some pumpkin pie later on for the party? Why yes, I am so ready for this. Well, that looks very big and heavy. Do you think you can carry this pumpkin? Of course, I can do this ever since I was like a tank. Hey, look what I'm carrying. What? Uh, what are you just standing there while carrying? Just put in the car so we can go. Oh. Sorry, I was just being silly anyway. Good evening, gentlemen. Please place your food items as I will scan each code of the tag. Well, why are you just standing there? You should come out of the here as always. Well, sorry, sir. But it's just... Oh, hey. Call me Sir Jacob. Do you understand, boy? And get the heck up right now. You're acting you're scared like a baby. Alright, alright. It's just like I want to be a... Just shut up with your fat words of yours like a whiny rat. So you know the reason why we are here. Is that we are going to shop around. Wrong. Wrong. And wrong. We are actually doing my plan for weeks to become one of our minions to be this way. Okay, okay. Please don't yell at me, please. Then you better shut your stupid mouth of yours. Or I will break your teeth myself. Got that? Yes. I get it. Good. Now anyways, I will make sure I will get Jack Paul on my bare hands and too. 
Shoot, he is coming out, quick. We need to hide it behind the bag of the car, follow me. Alright now, we need to be really quiet so that way, he doesn't see us. So, about jamming for our way to my party. What do you think you are hyped for? There are some for entertainment for my children. Entertainment you say? Maybe I can do some fun for your children like the bouncing castle. Well, you are a bit old to be in the bouncing castle, but you need to be careful though. You think you can understand that? Oh sure, I can trust you for you in many years, and one of the kids were involved for it. Well... <laughs> oh boy. Some bouncing castle just for fun. Um, excuse me sir, but aren't you a bit too old to be my bouncing castle for my birthday? Oh, but I thought it was fun, come on kid, please. I promise I won't cause any accidents. Well, okay, if you say so. Hi everyone, look. I'm an astronaut from NASA, and I feel like it's much fun than being bored on the inside. Whoops. Oh my God, Jeff. Did you just inflate the bouncing castle? Wait, did I? Let me see. Oh. Oops. I am so sorry. Oh yeah. I forgot about it. It's like I never even apologized to them, and I feel bad for them, even Johnny's fifth birthday. Well, the next time we come to my house, I just want you to avoid yourself to not inflate the castle ever again, even my son. You know, I guess you do have a good point there. Man, my legs are getting tired from that crook. Would well, just shut up and let me hear it. But on the bright side, I still can't wait for some pumpkin pie. Oh shoot. They are driving us away. I need to activate my car radar so I can know what they're heading. Uh, should we just run and jump through on the van? And why would we do that? We could get caught so easily that Jack Paul is even going to know we are at the top of the route. But, since I have my car radar, I can assure what we are they are heading to now. Oh boy. You do realize that you're acting like a stalker, you know? You're for real, right? Do I even look like a stalker to you? Huh? You better shut up of yours, or else I will kid your butt. And I'm really serious. Got it? Look. Please don't yell at me again, please. I'm very sorry about it. Then you better obey me. Following my instructions. And to include our newest scratch plans. Hey, whoever's out there. You better guys come out and show yourselves, you criminal scums. Oh shoot. That's the police. We need to get to our car that we parked, and fast. All right. Whoever just sprung. We will find you and we will take you to downtown in the name of the federal law. Oh hey honey. And hello there Jack Paul. Oh hey there honey. I'm very sorry we got late there. It's just because there are some traffic jam right around in Route 35 Intersection Street. No, oh, no worries. You're just in the right time for our son's birthday. So, shall we go inside for our little George? Well, I cannot wait for my son to grow up, but let's do this. <laughs> Good evening to everyone who are celebrating my son's George's seventh birthday. Before we sing happy birthday, I would bring a cape and to use candles to light up for my son's wish. So dad, when do we open my presents for my birthday? After the birthday song George. And then you will open your presents after. Okay. Okay dad. But here on the bright side, it's not even like the aspect ratio is on the closest between each and one of ours. So what do you think of it? Um, Jack, you do realize you forgot one thing to say. And what was the thing you haven't noticed me? I'm sorry to say this, but you kind of broke the fourth wall. Oops. I'm very sorry by saying it by a mistake and breaking the fourth wall. Hey, no worries. But I must go to my wife in the kitchen to prepare the birthday cake for George. Alright, so George, what will you do when you grow older like me? Well, that's a good question what I'm going to be when I grow up.
Well, I don't know yet, but I'll think of it for sure. Oh, I understand that you haven't gotten some ideas yet when you grow up, but you know what I can be, is to be- Alright everyone. Please come to the dining table to all guests. Well buddy, looks like this is the day you wanted to be yourself as a special day. So are you ready George? Well I am so pumped for this special day, so why just stand around and let's get this party started. Thank you all for coming on George's 7th birthday. Before we sing happy birthday for him. First, George. Please have a seat. So, I've been lately to you all to sing happy birthday to my son George who is turning 7. And now, here are the performance also on stage. Happy birthday, my sweet son, George. Wow, thank you so much, you guys. You guys are so cool, even mom and dad. You are absolutely welcome, my sweet boy. Oh man, why did we stop there right through the neighborhood? My god. I'm tired of you brag. All of that nonsense talk. Now please, shut your mouth up. But all I said is why are we here anyway? Well the reason is that is where Jack Paul is located at his friend's house. Oh, and we came to crash his son's party. Well, if you say so boss. Good, now let's get going in to change myself so hopefully I don't reveal myself. Alright, so my goal is to pop the castle balloon by using to cut the wires with my pliers. And you better listen to me right now. I want you to go inside the house, and if they say why are you here, just tell them you need to use the bathroom. Got that? Well, I guess so if you want me to do at risk. Well, I don't even care what you said about you Scarlet. Now I must use this pliers right next to the machine. Alright, so here is my idea. So my plan is to cut the wires and it will deflate it once the kids jumped in. Now hear me loud and clear. I want you to stay clear and to follow my instructions very carefully. You got it? Yes sir, I get it. Alright, so I'm going to do is hide from the bush and wait for my signal when they come out. Alright, time to start off some barbecue. Um, wait a minute. I didn't even invite you or anything for my friend. Who are you? Oh, I'm very sorry for it. But my name is Jacob Alexander, I'm one of for some science and some chemical ever since high school. Oh, never minded about it when you learn from it. But are you here for George's seventh birthday? Well, I was saying that, is it okay? If I can use a bathroom? Well, I guess it's fine by me, so you can go ahead, alright? And also tell them I said hi. Shoot. I better head to the bathroom before he kills me. Okay, look, I know you might get mad at me. But I was just- Look, I overheard it from my ears, and what kind of dumb brain of yours, and a high school student, no wonder why you're a- Wow, you do realize that was hurtful to say to me. Oh, who, who, too bad so sad to you. I don't even care about you, I'm like of yours, next time, don't ever write nice things to Jack Paul, got it? I got it. But someday, you will be sorry to me after. Alright everyone, let's all go outside for some barbecue food with meat and stuff. Shoot, I forgot he reminded me that once the kids are in the bouncing castle, but this is why I should never work with him in the first place. So, I see how you are cooking some steak and shrimp for us, including my wife. Why of course. That's the top of Jack Paul's cooking star, and it will be done in a few minutes. Alright, I'll check to see you if the food is ready. I'll make some pumpkin pie for everyone. Hey mom, you think I can go play inside the bouncing castle please? Well, of course, you may. 
but after Jack Paul is done cooking, you come off the bouncing castle and to eat with us. All right, thanks, Mom. I promise you I'll eat with you after. You know, guys, thank you all for coming this evening for my birthday. You are absolutely welcome, George. Why isn't he even giving me a signal to cut wires? But I'm just gonna call him right now, cause he is so lazy and dumb. Shoot. I just overslept and he is calling me, I better answer it. Hello, who is this? I've been calling you more like five times. And you didn't even answer you stupid brainhead. Okay, look, I just overslept alright? It's not even a big deal. But just cut the wires and hurry up. Well, it's about time that you said command line. But you're still a baboon and a stupid kid anyways. This is it. The moment that I will ruin his own son's birthday by cutting the pliers. Ha uh ha. -huh. So, I'm prepared to count it in 3, 2, 1. Well, I just hope nothing goes wrong of this evening. Um, what just happened to the castle? Well, there might be a slight problem of the machine. Oh, it's starting to fall apart. And there's smoke with air. We better run. I guess we should run, guys. Wait, what in the world is going on? The castle is deflating. I hope my sweet boy's okay. We made it, but we got to stay clear of my yard. Guys, run so we can stay clear for the yard area. straight as 30 minutes. Well, you see, the truth is, my own boss is Joseph, and he is telling me to do something bad right in your yard, and then Jack Paul said hi to me as well. So, it was Joseph the entire time they came to my yard, and then trying to ruin my son's seventh birthday? Yes, he was. But I hope my son is really okay. I'm just worried that he didn't get hurt, but you may leave for the party. Cause it's getting late since tomorrow I have some business to do, and for a special announcement too. Well I hope you feel well, and also, good night to you too. I feel sorry for my friend about what happened. It's just hurt of his feelings and he is broken half, cause of his son's birthday being ruined. Dad, I know you've been sad about my birthday ruined, but I know your pain when you have their size. I know you feel the same way to you, but it's just hurt me how someone ruined your birthday, George. But I know my birthday is ruined. But however, if you feel down, I will be right here for you as a father and a son. You know George. I guess you're right, but just to let you know, you will always be my son and our family to be our side. I'll give you a hug to make you feel better dad. And of course, another busy day for a work day, again. So as we concluded, Merge Deal is one of America's largest deals between our companies. We gave a million dollars each to one of our dealers as part of the BBVA companies for near future. You know, 
that may be an interesting way for the companies used for between the deals. Well, what do you think Jack Paul? I guess it's a better way than nothing that I can possibly do. All I can say, is that it will represent for our customers for the following taxes one of each at five million dollars of fine. Well for our fines, I'm sure we will get it under control as we planned like that Warren. I mean, the point we are getting is that when there will be a special announcement yet? Well, don't worry about it. Maybe sooner once we are done for the deals at the BBVA, and then it will notify us. Well, I guess I have to wait a little longer, but okay sir. Alright, I hope you guys really do understand for the deal we can go on, as part of our future. So as we conclude for this future presentation, I would like to meet an honor for our great service for the filmmaking of the presentations that come to life. Yo guys, they have a special visitor that came to our building. I need you guys come to room 216A floor building. Wait a minute. That means, it has to be the Vyarn Cinema owner. Wait I for me there. Hopefully I wasn't too late. Jack Paul, I'm coming. Well, I hope this is all you wish for dude. Alright everyone, I know you guys are all excited, but I want you guys to take a space at least 4.5 feet off. This is it. This moment I've been waiting for, that he will arrive here. Well, here he is, the moment we've been waiting there folks. Alright folks. We welcome you all to meet one of our greatest men in the Beyond Cinema in history. This is it. I cannot wait to see him. So, here it is folks. Hello, everyone around fellow workers. Oh boy, I finally can go meet him for the first time ever in my lifetime. It's an honor to all from workers that I came down with excitement to you all. We do some reuploads and we always give everyone a permission for their respected owners. And if you wish you can take photos for me, please line up at one at a time. All right, please make your way to the line. You know what? Please, now this day gives me a better life. You. Are you excited, Michael? Are you kidding me? I am just pumped up for this event, man. So, let's stay in line in the right order without skipping. So, what is your name? My name was Alexander Jackson, sir. Well, Alexander, I must really say that you're very proud to yourself to dream what job you will get for in your way to be part of our community. Thank you so much for my honesty. But I won't regret this and I will always remember your words. Well, I hope you have a nice day, Alexander. So, are you Jack Paul yourself, isn't it? Oh yes, I am Paul Jack for sure. By the way, I really enjoy your channel for a big cinema theater. Well, thanks, I really appreciate of you for saying good words for my support. Well, the way you play is a deal then, Paul because the way you treated me and humiliating me is a big pay to you. So now, my plan is to disguise myself as an ordinary businessman so I can sneak away from- Um, excuse me kind sir, but I don't even know you or either be part of our campus. Well, um, you see, I'm part of campus in the BBVA building, it's just that we haven't met each other for like a month. Oh alright. Sometimes I get confused for someone that was uninvited to the campus right here. Oh wow, what an idiot he is. I bet Jack Paul will be pleased for my fist. Huh? Who said that? Well I'm pretty sure someone just call me an idiot first. But I guess it's nothing anyway. Alright then, that was easy, but however, I need some backup for me. But then he ditched and betrayed me that he is on his side without me. And from this day forward, I will get him soon, and I mean, very soon to you Jack Paul. However, I needed some ideas to do for a plan. Maybe I can find him at the floor A building, hopefully. So let's hopefully, we'll make sure that I will be in disguise. Well there, I barely don't even recognize you right here in the campus. Who are you? Well, I am Joseph Michael. I am registered part of our bank service since 2017. But before I knew it, I can barely know it to you. Oh, alright then Joseph. I guess you do have some statement between each other between yourself. But anyways, I must get going home. You have a nice day. Come on now, Joseph. Why would I be nice to him? I should be the one around to stick with him and to follow. All right now. I guess I got to stay topic here and to manage my own sense to focus out. Now pretty much I can do is that I must have ideas to produce or to answer. But I will hunt him down as I can. some radio will tune in a jiffy at the moment. 
Dave, we just got news from an decent update writer, Thomas George's yard, where there was a deflate yesterday tonight during a party. Right. Fossil news it confirms that who has placed the motor should be a criminal defense. He's Joseph Mike, who is responsible for damage. Hold on. Joseph Mike? I though he looked familiar when I met him after. Could that be? So, it was Joseph Mike the entire time who caused the price. I got to get home and call Thomas if we heard the news. So I need to ask him if he heard of this issue on a radio or on the television. Alright so, have you ever watched the news on your TV Thomas? Well, in the matter of case, yes, I heard that it was Joseph Mike the entire time that ruined my son's birthday yesterday. You know that there is a good thing that broadcasted throughout the radio signal on Fox News Radio on Vyond Cinema. At least for a chance. By the way, I'll ask my wife and my son to come over your house so we can have a meeting. Alright. Sounds well to me. I'll tune in for more of details on this channel. So, see you later when I get there. See ya there. You know, I should met him in the first place after, then again, I would have punched him or tell my boss about it. But because of this, they will soon arrive at any time sooner. Alright, thank you guys for coming of this meeting at the afternoon. I would give you guys to know have you tuned in radio, or the news channel. Well, my husband and I just tuned in on the Fox Business Channel. Then, out of nowhere, they appears to be seen outside of our house about the incident yesterday. And as for the news reporter he explained to the criminal record which was to be the same guy that ruined our son's birthday, that it was Joseph Mike the entire that ruined the balloon machine. And that gave me something a reaction shock to me. And I cannot even believe it, that psycho guy literally was the one who done it in the first place, I'll make him pay for it. Well that brings the case, so I will tune Fox Business to see and to rewind it for the scene where it was. Today's top story news is that there was an incident moments ago, right now live at the Thomas own house right behind me. They are investigating the criminal that will charge him of thousands of dollars in total fine for the damage of a type of machine. So right now that he is wailing towards me to ask the questions of the aftermath before the incident between right now and yesterday. So once in a while, we got some dispatch of 911 callers that notify us that there was an investigation of the suspect who escaped the prison moments ago in a few months. Basically we do have an evidence that the criminal is Joseph Mike and we will try our best job to hunt him down as soon as possible. So that's what the officer have to say. But anyways, this is Stephanie Jones, signing off, and back to you Edward. Well then, thanks for tuning in in the Fox Business Channel. We will be right back after these messages. Well, that takes the case of him. All we need is to stick up with a plan just in case. I will not tolerate anything right here in this house. To feel your words, and to express our relationship, 10 we could tell that we should against to those criminals that he needs to get locked up and to never, ever, come out again. I swear it better not be Joseph Mike or I will kick his own butt. I swear it better not be the Whoa, same slow down. Oh, I didn't expect you here by that time. It's alright, but I need to ask you something very important right now in the living room, okay? So I want to explain what is gonna happen. So you the thing he told me which was Joseph. And he tells everyone he will gather his own new gang to come to your house to rob. So you're saying that they will come to our house to break in and then stealing one of my stuff? Well I'm afraid to say this, but it's true bro. Welp guys, we got to hide for our signal to attack them once and for all before we stop them. Oh boy. Alright honey, I need to hide right under the table and wait for his signal. But what about our son? Look just go hide already. Then let's move. Right, this must be his house I found. So here is our plan. We are going to bust this door with my foot, and then we steal his stuff to teach his own lesson. That will be very interesting sir. Same here. Good. Now it's time for him a great visit from us. Alright, on the count of three, I will bust this door with my bare feet in three, two, one. <laughs> Well here is Joseph, we came for a special visit for your friend and I, so maybe I can. Oh I just hope it will be a visit Jack. Alrighty then, I want you to come here for a moment, I have your job to do for. Sir, what is my job to do sir? Alright, so your job is to head to the kitchen and find some of their food supplies and his own stuff that he works so hard from. Got that? Sure thing boss, I will do as I command. Excellent, now do your job and use your bag to collect them. 
Say bye bye to your food, Jack retarded Paul jerk face. Hello, the weird son of oh, a. Hug. Are you even kidding me already? What a pathetic dude. He was trying to but failed Miss Riley. Alright, Kevin. Can you find Jack Paul and the rest of them? Right now, one. With pleasure, Joseph, sir. You came close to me. You came with my fist of pain. Well, B, shall we do this when they head straight at us? Well, um, the way you did was sicko. But that's we all do. We kick their butts. Um, honey. Watch behind you, he I is coming. You. So, you were saying? Well, I mean, never mind about it, let's just go see our son and Jack Paul. Oh boy. So is that what you want to play, eh? Well then, I will make sure that my fist right onto your butts. Oh Jack. Little Jack, where are you, idiot? I exactly know where you are. So please, come out right now. I got a snake, what? Oh come on Jack, I am very sure your hiding place is so pathetic. So come out and fight like a man and don't be running it like a chicken. God damn, you really like to play games at that moment. You know I really want- Aha, uh -huh. I finally got you now. So it's about time we show up. And because of you, it's time to pay for your action. Look, I know what you did of his son's birthday. So why waste time here anyway? Well the reason why I said that is Because I want to get my revenge on you guys for taking me away from it And you came here just to bust out of my yard And just for something you deserve for a revenge And yet you came for- Will you just shut up with your non-excuses little boy? Oh boy, is that the way you play eh? So is this is, huh? Well, there will be enough for the two of us. Oh, just trust me. I exactly know what to do ever since. Ouch. Oh, poor Jack Paul. I thought he was tough for me. Come on, Jack. What's wrong with your legs, eh? Well, I think not. Come on, man. Why are you doing this to me? So I can get payback to you after that you've caused me as my devastating hell. But that's not an excuse to do this yourself for what you've become to you. Just shut up already. Now that you've done to me, I will finish you. Oh, no, you all. don't. Oh. It's you, Michael. How did you get here? Well, since you're in a pain of rush that you've thrown, I decide to help with with some medication tape in case if you are hurt. So, all of this, is you are a doctor all the time along, just to help me? Well, I was thinking, but before back then- Alright you guys can chat later, but for now, you guys need to find someone for help so we can get this little bastard out of our street. You know, it pretty much forgetting something was pretty dumb, and I know what we will need help with. Tom Doe is what we need him. Then we must go, fast. Let's head to Jack's car. So, they are heading to this bastard, huh? Well not on watch they're not, I'm going to his car and follow him once and for all to stop them from bringing their team. Alright so here is our plan, we need to head over Tom Doe's house, so that way we will explain to him what was going on so we can let him and our team. Not this time now. Uh, guys, have you noticed something up there at the roof you guys? Well I think sometimes it does a bump or something like this one. I mean, it better not be Joseph that guy around in my roof, cause I will kick his butt. Well, I have nothing to plan for each premieres on set for regarding a bet. Hey Tom Doe, sorry to interrupt you, but can I ask you something really quick? But hold up. I never gave you permission to go inside and ask me something that is off topic. Sorry, I didn't ask you first, but I only came here to ask you something very important as an emergency. So what I came here is to tell you that he is planning for some takeover like in my house for their gangs and your cinema as well too. Oh, you're telling me that my cinema is also gonna be surrounded if they get more gang members and taking it over as well? Unfortunately, yes, but if we don't stop him after, well I'm not letting that happen on my own home. So I like to thank you all, and you too Tom, for here for our next plan, if they try to succeed with their plan, then one of our houses and the cinemas will be filled but just like riots. Same here and my wife as well, otherwise we have nowhere else to go either. Otherwise, it will be hard for us to find our jobs, but then my son has nowhere to get picked up from school too. You know, that will make sense why that if I don't get home on time and to eat dinner at the evening, then I will starve myself to once it happens. Oh, don't worry alright. I'm sure we can do something after you're done with school. Okay. Well I hope, sooner. But you know, that made me a good point. But remember in case Joseph came in, we must bust him out to fight. Oh god, honey. Oh god, Michael Thomas. No no, 
Michael Thomas, how did he got hit by the door, and who could done that? Well, all I came here is for a big visit to you all. Well you guys, did you miss me? I think so not. So, you're the one who bust the door on him? Oh uh, let's just say, came for a knock knock to you guys. You will not hurt my friend. Well well, you were saying? I, ugh, I cannot move. You're hurting me. Isn't all this? I thought you were so tough. Ha, huh? well beat it. Ah. Oh god. Not Jack Paul too. Why are you doing this? This isn't you Joseph. Snap out of it. As same to you, you really need to let go from your bad side of you. Yeah right, in your dreams if you can really be bossy of me. Well it won't happen to me in my life, not even for once when I become the king you guys. But that's no excuse to do this for your actions without your parents. Ma, I think it's fine after I beat you guys. You will never touch me, my wife, and my friend. Oh you really think so after I leave you guys? Well I cannot hear your advice from here. You better back up or my fist is on your skull on you. Oh I am so scared. What are you gonna do about it? That's over. Oh, Alright everyone, head over to Jack Paul's car right now. Don't worry Jack Paul, I will make sure your friends will help you once we go to my house. And we will always help you for an emergency. So dad? Is Jack Paul gonna spend in our house for today? Well I'm afraid so son, for at least for the night. Well, good night Jack Paul. See you tomorrow when you feel better. Oh man, I just passed out after he punched me after a concussion. But I just don't get it. Why did he have to do this to me? But time for some another rest day all. You know, I expected that Jack Paul was awake by now. And here he is, my old buddy, how are you feeling today? You know pretty much the same way as I woke up from it after. Well I get the way of you as you always say to you. Well I guess you might as well cook some lunch for us. You and Tom Doe will be some cookers for now. Oh yeah, he is still there, right? Wait, you're saying we can cook together? Oh yeah, he told us we should cook to make some lunch for them. You know, we can cook some burgers today for lunch as we can watch TV while eating it. How's that? That does sound good to you guys. Maybe we should do it for lunch. But first let me ask George if he wants some burger. Welcome to the fashion show. Get ready. Hey George, they are gonna make some burgers for lunch today. Wait, really? Those are my favorite lunch when I used to eat back then. Well then, do you want some cheeseburger? Or some regular burger with ketchup? Well, I will take some regular burger with ketchup. Why, you think I don't like it? No, I was just saying. Golly, you were making me laugh, son. Well, I didn't know that, but hey. At least we can just eat once they're done cooking. Alright, I'll be outside. If you need to ask me, feel free to come outside if you wish. Oh man, my dad is just being silly. Oh boy, nothing like some top burgers in the cookhouse while Tom for it cooking. Well, nothing like the top of cooking around the backyard in this house, eh? Yes sir, I am preparing for the meat before I flip the patty ever since I learned it from school. Well, I am pretty hungry by the top of my stomach by now. Is it ready yet? Well, in a moment once I flip the patty, then it will be. Alrighty, I'll be in the dining room to bring the plates and putting it on the table. HM, it says, police confirm that Joseph identified as increased from his crime and brining their gang by committing murder and robbery at the same time oh god then that means if he comes to Michael's house then that means he will took me and my friend too even Tom Dole too but I just hope it doesn't happen again not even once in my lifetime after well for me the rest is some steak only after when the burger is fully done so you're saying you also cook some time steak you say well I understand why you don't eat the burger for yourself why of course ever since when I was a kid I never eat a single topping burger when I was 5 years old in 2004. Well I understand your point of the food you eat. By the way, is it done now? The burgers are done, but the steak is almost. Tell your son to come for the dining table to eat while Jack Paul serves them. Alright, I will, but you will serve yourself after. I know, I'll remember. Oh man, I'm pretty sure getting hungry by my stomach now. Hey son, lunch is ready. Come to the dining table so we can eat. And the moment has happened. Time for some lunch. Oh man, I am really hungry for today as I could say. Well then, 
Let's all sit down so we can eat. Well then, don't mind if I do eat it. But hey, of course I was hungry for it. Well, hopefully, I ain't too late, am I? Oh, not even close, late man. But anyways, ready to eat, George? Well, can't start eating without mama for me. So, let's start eating like a family. Oh man, this afternoon lunch was the top of menu's Tom restaurant. Don't you say, Tom? Well, what do you even think? Sometimes I learned it from collage and sometime at home. Well, what do I even say? I even brought my own ham from the supermarket that we bought earlier from like almost 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh boy, some of the burgers are very refurnished the same way I eat from it. But thanks Tom Doe for making these delicious burger for me. Well, you are welcome anytime. But you should be also thank to Jack Paul too as well for you. Oh, and thank you Jack Paul for giving out a plate for us too. Although sometimes I wasn't good at it. But hey, on the bright side, at least nothing ever could go wrong. Shoot, my phone is literally notifying me that someone's calling me at that moment. Well, that must be Joseph, that same guy as we know it. Well, whatever you do, do not even answer the call from him. Otherwise, you don't even know what happens next. Oh, don't worry about it. I declined his call to prevent danger from us. Well, at least that you've pressed it. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen. Surprise, you guys. Well, you though it will be done for something you've never seen before. Huh? Man. You always charge yourself by breaking the door. And then now you're still acting like a violent person. How could you? So what? What if I do something illegal the way I continue up from my destiny? The way I can do is my adulthood. Beside Jack Paul, and you jokes also for leaving me behind my back. And why is that we left you? It's because you've always asked for too much. And the then you and Jack Paul got into fight years back, and you assault him once he gotten home, that's why you monster. So you only care about him? Without my backstory? Well that's just wrong of you. You guys don't even know my backstory at all since school. And just because you lost someone, doesn't mean you don't have to go crazy and lose control all over you. And why though, huh? Well I cannot chill because of you little boy. Now shut up with the excuse that you told me earlier. Bro, how is that even an excuse? I was trying to help you to calm to get you out of the shack. Just shut your mouth, little boy. I will get you next after this if you continue on my face, stupid. So you dare to talk smack, my son? Well, you better get out of our house, you greedy mean person. And I mean it. Get out. Well, I'm not going to ask you again, but trust me, you better meet us here by two days. I'll be back, you'll see. So hold up, after he knocked me out. He stated to us to meet him at least more than days for it before? Well I'm afraid I might said this, but he told us after two days we want all of us to meet him and his own gangs around the park at Beyondwood East Park and Rest Area. Oh shoot. I got to think of something for the plan, but what can I think of? Alright, I think you need to chill and be calm man. What we want to do is to confront him to fix this situation Joseph and you. Alright? Alright, I'm sorry if I overreacted. But anyways, we need some ideas that what should I do with him so we can fix this mess in the first place. Well when I ask you Jack Paul, the way after you guys went to collage, when you ask Joseph that something isn't funny, the way of his look beneath the shadows was you, and the way he runs away from you is like you're some type of idiot boy you are. To be honest, I guess I pretty much took far on him when we were teenagers, but again, I never way he knew he acted on after. But my plan was to go face to face and to apologize what I've done in the past year. So, you did this all of these years that you've admitted what you did to Joseph the entire time? Well I'm afraid it's true son. He really did something by a mistake or on purpose, but I mean, even though it was a joke for him. But what he didn't understand is that Joseph doesn't like jokes when he was a teenager. And by the cause of your destruction of you, the way he feels what you've treated him too much jokes that he doesn't like. So please, never, do it again with your life dude. You know what, I guess you're right. Wait, hold up Jack Paul. I don't know what to do exactly, but if talk to him straight, he'll just beat me by seconds or so. Look, Jack Paul, I know what you're worried yourself, but just because you're acting scared, doesn't mean you have to get scared yourself. But what's the use? It will never work as long I can live. So there is no chance for me I can support for him. Look man, I know you're getting sad or crying over it but you got to man up to yourself. You can't act like a baby yourself to panic over you. See this is the problem, you called me a baby when I told you that nothing will change for Joseph and I so what's the use, but for now, 
Just leave me alone for now, I'm not in the mood, but Jack Paul, just go already man, I'm not gonna say it again about it, alright, well then, if you say so to you, I just don't get it. What will I do for him before he snapped out of himself, I need to think of something, and even worse. Joseph told us after two days, we must face the truth in our face before we get beaten up. So, I heard Jack Paul is crying right now that he was overwhelmed that Joseph might not forgive him. Well that's the case what I was about to say but what's the point, I tried to talk to him about it, but he asks me to just leave him be. It's no use at all. Well, for now, I think you should leave Jack Paul alone at some point time around, unless if he is prepared or something. And how would you know? You don't even get it anyway. Actually, I know why he is not in a happy mood. So he imagines that Joseph used to make jokes of him a lot of times ever since high school, and then Jack Joseph Paul decides to make a bad joke that he made Joseph upset. Well, I'll go check on him if he's alright. Oh man, what a weird dream I have, but thank God I had some well sleep anyway even if cry myself. Hey Jack Paul, are you feeling yourself better now? Well. Almost, but I guess so for sometimes when I have problems. But what I came here for is that Tom don't told me about your stories about you to Joseph after he hated you, right? Yeah, sometimes he does hate me right before we meet up, but the reason why I made these bad jokes on him is because he was yelling at me and making fun of me as well and claiming as a joke. But hey, on the bright side, I am sure you guys will help me to team up so we can confront him in the real way. That's why we are here for teamwork as well for you Jack Paul. That's why we are going to do is after two days, we go head straight to Joseph to confront him as we know after our hate for each other. Let's do this together. Oh man, this is how pathetic. He is treating me already by step through by side and each of other. But what I want to only get is Jack Paul and just Jack Paul, so I can face to face him and to kill him after. And once I do to him. The way I can strike him is all of his pathetic friends and to bow down to me once I succeed with my gangs by following orders. So Joseph, when will you guys be ready for some plans for this week after two days? Well not just yet. But what I want to do is once I give you, and all of my gang are prepared after two days, you guys will do some owners once I talk to Jack Paul what he done to me back then. I mean, you clearly don't make sense that we thought we could do a- Oh I don't wanna hear it right now man. I mean, are you defending him or something? Cause I think you are a possibility, aren't you? No not at all sir, I'm just saying a question, not trying to defend Jack Paul in any way as possible sir. Oh yay. Well look at my darn face right now, look at me in a stare of my soul at you. If you're telling me an honest truth of you, cause I can smell you like a liar on my ugly face. Well the way you stare close to me, is feeling uncomfortable for my space cause of you sir. Exactly, your lies are controlling you without me as your minion. So you know what's gonna happen next. That means you're out of my team since you like the entire time bastard. But, but Sir Joseph- I don't wanna hear an excuse from your dirty mouth. Now get out of here you little piece of garbage. Well then Joseph, you will make a big mistake from yourself if you wouldn't apologize. You better shut up and leave this place or I will tell my gang to beat your butt. Now as I mentioned, what I want is to strangle him so bad that I can smell of my victory. Now what I want to do for my gang is to capture him since the day will be two days for the least. And I'm coming to you Jack Paul, you'll see. You know, pretty much to say in the park, this is pretty much where we can hang out for us but do you know each much what I could do is to just chat in this bench while relaxing. As much if everything goes well. Then pretty much after one of us and my wife is took good care for all of us that we can always pray once we sleep. I heard that, so when I was checking Twitter from Fox Business News, and it says reports on ongoing situation will take place regards of Joseph Mike, who is planning to name Jack Anderson Paul. That he needs to confront him like a man. Hold up, Joseph Mike, that same guy again, but then he told me once another day arrives. I will have to face to face to talk to him, otherwise he will end me as soon if I don't get there as soon as possible. Alright Jack Paul, I know you might freak out, but let me ask you something real quick. Look just tell me cause I'm about to freak out right the top of my lungs bro. Alright, alright, you really need to chill already bro. I just don't want you to go psycho already. Okay, I am very sorry if I yelled at you man. It's just sometimes I get used to be crazy on my head. It's alright, 
but here is what I want to tell you, but why do you even made yourself scared that Joseph was gonna kill you and deny your apology man? Look can everyone shut up you too? Here is our plan once we get to your house Jack Paul. So let's get going you guys, I guess it's time for some plans, but unless if I man myself up but we must tell your wife just for three of us to do strong. I guess it's time for me some action I guess. So, you really guys are doing this together for a few days once you come back for three days, is that what you said? Well unfortunately yes honey, but I promise you we will do this together to stop Joseph from doing something bad and to solve the solution before ugliness happens. So don't worry ma'am. We will fix this by the three of us, and trust me, I will make sure Joseph and I be cool friends again and will never ever hurt any one of you again. Well then, I want you to listen carefully honey. Please, in case if he hurts you anything, you tell me, or ask your friends to help you since they have you guys plan. But hopefully, and I mean hopefully, you will be safe and I just hope nothing can screw you up and your friends. I know how you feel sweetie. But I promise you I will come back once I can succeed with him face to face to Joseph. Well you guys are you ready for some preparation? Well, if we are brave and strong ourselves, then yes, we are ready for you dude. Well we will wait for you buddy. Now, before you heads off, I want to ask you is, good luck to you and your friends Michael. I know honey, but I promise you, we will fix this together I promise honey. Well, I guess see y'all later honey. Well. I'll see you later too babe, hopefully I will come back. So Jack Paul, once we decide for each of us including Michael, do you have any ideas we can come up with? Well once we get to my house, I will notify you guys what plan is to take care of Joseph once he is straight talking to me eye to eye contact. Well then, I think I wanna ask you Michael, so what shall we do before our plan? Look, Tom. I just don't feel like talking to you man. Um, what do you mean Michael? I was just asking you something. Look what I just said. I said I'm not in the mood man. Just please. Hey Jack Paul, why is Michael acting strange when I ask him something important? Well Tom, I think the reason is that he is heartbroken about after we left. He is basically telling you that his face is on the inside of his heart. Yes, it does sound my heart feeling down for some point around the time we left. But I just hope my son and my wife are okay if this situation gets worse from top to rock bottom. So, that's why you were not in the happy mood cause of your melting heart about your son and your wife? Yes Tom Doe, that is the reason why I'm telling you the whole time to leave me alone. But however you kept telling me for some questions what wasn't even important. Oh, I'm very sorry about it what you've been going through sometime missing your son and your wife. I understand how much you care about your own life and spending time with your family. But hey on the bright side, each of us can do this together that we can break through in our hands. Hey, that's what I was going to say about it, haha. <laughs> Alright guys, the last week I explained as Joseph was planning to them, and they decide to turn against us by asking them, if you guys don't participate, you will be dead and it will beat us up. Well if we wanna do this for Joseph together, we need a great idea for our plan if we wanna succeed to stick together in our hands. But how are we supposed to do that? There is not other way if we fail this plan, well, the way we can fight, is to... Well, I'm guessing by always to kind for him and we can punch him in the face. Okay, no, no and no, that's gonna make it worse for you. Don't you remember what happens if we did that? They will destroy us and my wife, even my son. Well, I do agree with you on the first type about punching Joseph, but I don't why you're getting angry over it when he states his plan. But Jack Paul, I have some honest plan for us. We're gonna need to confront him otherwise, there will be ugliness that no man can stood. And if we don't, he'll destroy us to death. Oh, I guess you're right Tom, otherwise we will lose our own lives between us and to our people we love the most from the future. Exactly. The point is we need to live and to discuss through to him and making sure to succeed and to punch him after. And believe me, the case I want to punch him with my fist so bad that I'm gonna freak out on him. Oh my guy, you really need to take a chill man, you don't have to go crazy at all of what you're frustrated about. Yay, I guess you're right. 
I'm sorry if I scare you guys about my anger issue that you witness. Hey, no worries Michael, I've done the same over the years after. But if only Joseph wasn't so mean to me after. Look Jack Paul, you don't worry about that, I will make sure Joseph doesn't hurt you, in a single step. Cause I will punch him for sure. I mean, didn't we talk about our promise to face him in a proper way? I wonder who it is. Alright, who is it on the door? Um, hello? Ugh, you again, are you here to kidnap us? No, I uh, basically got kicked out by your friend which is Joseph. Yeah right, why would I believe your excuses by lying? Look, I'm gonna beg you, and I will promise you, I will never, ever lie to you in my life. He just kicked me out explaining to you and Joseph what was going on for the years. So you're telling me, he kicked you out, even if you're with them, but decided you believe me and Joseph says get out after you left? Yep, you are correct Jack, but basically he stated me, saying never ever come back here when he told me. So, can I join you guys for a team to stop him? Well, okay then, I guess you may be in our team, but you got to come to the chair to listen closely, now follow me into my dining room. Alright you guys, so this is- Wait hold up, who is this? It better not be the gang who joined from Joseph. Well, he used to be before, but he decided to let go on his bad side, and what is your name sir? So you guys may not know me, but ever since he called me a minion earlier back when he used me, but now, my actual name is Albert Jackson. Well then, Albert, I'm Jack Paul's friend, and here is what I'm gonna ask you something, so what we are doing is to do a plan on each other for a team to help Joseph stop from him before ugliness happens. You know, same to you is what I was gonna say, cause you know, I can't just stand him bossing me around and using me just to destroy guys, and I am very sorry if this happened to you. I know how you feel in your heart Albert, we know why you made this a good choice to leave Joseph from using you, and one of my friends including Tom Doe, will always, to stick together. Well, I'm amazed of you guys for joining you guys in, but it feels great I have freedom in my own heart. That is why we are always an honor for the team that we will stop against from his trouble, so so what do we say everyone? Right behind you bro. Well for more than just being myself, of course, we will always stick together no matter what bro. Well, for once, I will pump up for the team. Let's, Let's do, do this, this for action. action. Alright, so once I strike him down in case if he didn't, or participate in one of my conversation before, I will make sure they will find him, and to destroy this pathetic city in their lives. Alright you guys, we need to stick a plan on what are we gonna do at this moment. So you better guys listen closely, what we are going to us to focus in case if they try to escape. You guys will lock the doors to trap them if they don't listen to me into refusing to participate. This is exactly I wanna hear boss. I will crush their bones to make sure they will listen to you without any leaving excuse. That's the spirit dude, we will bust them down in case if they tried to escape. I like how Kevin Jones made this idea for us to stick with our own hands in case if they tell lies to you and all of us bro. You know that reminds me you said, it pretty much you were spoken once we join in and to become the ultimate boys, which will be all of us and I mean, all of us to be in. Well, it does say for your words, but I cannot deny to you for saying the top kinds to say, at least I'm better off with those bastards, which is Jack Paul who betrayed me years back. So now what? We basically have no regards on to where to location is at, like at the warehouse though, basically is the idea to trap them inside so that we will confront them before. Interesting question Stella, the reason is what I am going to do with them, they will get to the warehouse and to proke with the plan in case if they tried to escape with consequences. Well, that will be an exciting way that you ask them to all of us and to complete once we succeed. I do have some honest respect for your words for once man, but anyway, are we ready for some takedown in case they tried to escape? As your command sir, we are so ready for this moment sir. Excellent you guys, oh Jack Paul. I really hope you're prepared for this and trust me. I will find you and take you with me, you'll see. And so, after a long drastic long progress, he was been overused by meaning a lesson, son. Remember by always looking on each side around before you can cross the street and went on his own normal journey, the end. Hey Jack Paul, can I ask you for a minute here? Oh sure, what brings you here at the moment? So Jack Paul, when do you exactly go to sleep and what time do you even go to bed right now? I think at around by the exact time of 11 or 12 a.m. at my daily bed. Whoa there, why do you basically sleep in the morning at a moment's time before you are tired? You know, 
Sometimes when I felt like it when I am actually tired at the moment if I'm yawning at around 11.55 o'clock. Well, I mean, sometimes we sleep at the time around 10 or 11 o'clock, so I guess you do have some common when you came yourself home after work and after we chat. Yeah, basically we do as always, haha. <laughs> so anyways, I'm very tired from today, so see you tomorrow for another day. Alright then, good night Jack Paul. Well... Good night to you too bro, we will do our donuts daily morning at 9am, now I must go to bed before I fall asleep. hold up a minute there. My, my bedroom furniture, it's gone, all gone, and my drawers as well? This can't be, but who could have done this, who's responsible for it? Hold up, there's a note that it's pinned into the wall. So in the note it says, to Jack Paul, I also forgot to mention to you that since you do this to me once and twice, I decide to steal your bed and some drawers except your pillow and your blanket, have fun without a loser, and it's from... Joseph? Joseph man, why you gotta do this to me, you're better than this, just why? Well screw it, I might as well sleep on the floor without it, but, good night, and hopefully I don't forget the day. Ugh, what a horrible night, but hey, not too horrible as I expected from him, but time to brush my teeth anyway. Huh, where are my toothpaste and my toothbrush? I swear it was right there, and I secure it at all times. Hey Jack Paul, what's going on here? Well, you're not gonna believe this but... Someone stole my toothpaste and my toothbrush, which means I got robbed, who did this man? Look Jack. First off, you gotta chill the freak out, and you know what I can believe. It must be Joseph that your friend took. But how could he do this to me even though I stopped it like six years ago, and then he uses and steals my furniture bed, toothpaste, and brush just for revenge? Hold up, he stole your bed furniture too? Yes, this was last night after I go to sleep, and I have to sleep on this dirty floor for the rest of the night. Oh boy. I am very sorry about what you've been going through around the night while you sleep. I mean, he has no excuse to steal your stuff. And besides, that's a robbery crime. Hey Michael, it's alright lad, just remember, we can do this together since we had Albert as our team. I guess you're right man, but anyway, let's all go for a drive, including Tom Doe and Albert, what do you say? Alrighty then, let's do this, but hold up. What about my toothbrush and my toothpaste? About the thing he stole, here is your toothpaste so you can clean your white smile teeth. Oh, thanks bro, so I'll be ready in a moment. So Tom Doe, what are you on the phone for today at this morning? Oh you know, something to just looking for someone has a long movie that inspires their own true creative story. But anyways, Jack Paul told us that we should head for a drive, and then maybe we can grab something to eat. Well, sounds fun cause I'm getting hungry anyway, how about a stop at Piggy Meal Restaurant? Hey um, Jack Paul, Tom Doe says maybe we can get some Piggy Meal right across in our street. You think we can go there? Heading to Piggy Meal? I mean, we are too old to visit there ever since it opened in 1995, but however, I guess we can go there just for lunch since we have nothing to cook for today. Well then, I will ask Halbert if he wants to come with us for lunch. Well, let's get going cause we are hungry for all of us, including Albert and Tom Doe. Same to you bro. Is everyone ready to go? Yes, yes we, we are, are ready. ready. Well then, let's get this on the road. So guys, what food are you guys gonna get for this day? So I will get some hamburgers with pickles and lettuce on it one. I'll get at least a cheeseburger with some pickles on it. As much, I'll just grab a regular hamburger but with mustard on it, and I will get a double cheeseburger with no pickles and onions on it, and we will get our own soda next. Alright, so while we wait in line, you guys are gonna choose before we order, so for me, 
I will grab some Coca-Cola, so I will drink maybe without sugar is Diet Coke for me. I think sometimes maybe a cold fresh Sprite for today. Well, I will take some water for today at least. Alright, you guys find some reserved seats that are not used while I wait in line for the food you guys chose. Alright, we will find a reserved seat so you can see us. Oh man, that was something when I always wake up. Well, same for me as well as I woke up from work every day. But anyways, shall we get some drinks while we wait for our food? Well, as Jack Paul said, we will get some drinks to grab at a soda machine. And I will give Coca-Cola to Jack Paul while he orders it from the food after. Well then, let's grab some. You know, this Diet Coke is one of my favorite soda drinks, but without sugar. Well, the same goes that I got my water bottle. But even though it does make you hydrated, it's good for us once we drink twice a day. Well guys, here I come. Well, guys, the food is now served for you all. Oh, and thanks for bringing my Coca-Cola that I was saving. So let's dig in. Well, guys, it is such a cool place ever since I went there when I was 10. Well, as I should say, this is where they stay to talk some time. So, Jack Paul, about Joseph, one of your old friend, what year are you trying to give him an apology present? Oh, and about that, in 2005, I was gonna give him something special for what I've done to him, so I gave him this and I thought, Whoa, so you were saying that you're giving him an iPod as an apology gift after you did those pranks since high school? Yes, but however he never responds for any one of our seniors of the school year ever since we moved to college in different places. Oh, I see then, well that explains a lot of why you are doing the right choice for yourself after letting go of yourself, doing trouble, yeah, I I know basically, but to be fair, I feel ashamed ever since my parents ground me just for a day when I was 16. Well then, sometimes, in reality, we all have to learn our lessons by the meaning of our life, and to learn how we act as a normal citizen in this beyond world. But anyway, let's all go home so we can all just relax for this daily break. Yeah, let's throw the trash out and clean the tables once we leave. So guys, once we get home safe as possible, we will watch a movie on Netflix, maybe some action movies, what do you say? Well then, this will be hard for us to choose, but maybe some action movies won't be bad as possible. Well then, we are glad to hear one of you two, so guess Tom Doe and I will make some popcorn and you guys will choose hot dogs. Hmm, sounds like some smell of some fresh food and to top it off some great places and dogs. You might want to look at Jack Paul's house. What are you guys talking about? Jack, look at your house of yours. Whoa, whoa, don't tell me. Oh god, my house is on fire. Oh no, no, my house is being burnt down permanently. Now that means I have nowhere else to go, meaning the streets to find home. I am going to be homeless forever and ever and I can't eat food from the local store. But Jack Paul, you are not gonna be homeless. Tom Doe has his own apartment that we can live in, for now. Yeah, you can stay in my apartment including you two guys as well, since his house is burnt down. You know, I guess you're right, at least Tom Doe has his own apartment, for now. I just can't believe it, my house is completely bunked out, now I have no home at all for my life now. Well don't worry, once we get to Tom Doe's apartment, we are going to eat some steak once we are done relaxing. But however guys, I am not feeling great today cause of my reaction to what you've saw. So you guys do not talk to me for now. Oh man, my day has gone worse. First up, he stole my bed and one of my toothbrushes and toothpaste. And no my house is completely burnt down. What's worse than I expected how I was seeing in my life? Joseph kept betraying me, and I'm guessing he will never forgive me, ever. But for now, I will get some sleep so that way I can feel better and forget nightmares. Oh man, I really felt terrible for Jack Paul after he lost his own home, but at least however they can live in my apartment, but for now, he is still sad after he lost his own home after more than 15 years. I have no words for what I've seen Tom. The meaning is how shocking I have seen when his house burnt down. But I will turn on the TV if anything news is currently on right now. We live here at Jack Paul's house, which was burnt down earlier at noon. Right now, the person who was burnt down was to appear as a criminal record is Joseph Mike, that is responsible for his actions. 
Police stated that an unidentified person was located as their Hold gang up. uses what did Joseph do? Jason putting gas water to make Jack Paul's house cause on fire at 11.50 in the morning after the incident happened. So as part of us here at Fox News, stay tuned for more news and local updates. Now for a commercial break. So that was Joseph, the little bastard who was the one who caused Jack Paul's house on fire just because of his past? I just don't believe it. He is still acting like a psychopath and doing crazy stuff with his own gang. Gosh, he isn't still learning about what he was doing already. Jack Paul already said sorry and yet he continues this. Like that's exactly the problem. He keeps acting like a criminal in our faces instead of admitting it. Like what is wrong with this boy? I have to agree, I'm glad I wasn't part of his disgusting team in the first place. Maybe we should tell Jack Paul about what happened. Alright, let me wake him up so we can- I heard from you guys what Joseph did when I suddenly woke up. I heard on the news while I was sleeping, and he's the cause of an incident that caused my house on fire, and I cannot believe this. I know why that caused you to be furious, and I'm very sorry about the loss of your own house. We are going to talk here about the plan since tomorrow we have to go confront him. And that is what we are going to do once we sleep. So let's go to the dining table to discuss what we are going to do tomorrow for our plan. Well guys, looks like tomorrow is gonna happen with all of us. So what we need to do is our plan since two days after we decide which one we do, and how we are going to do this. Well, the case of it is I heard sometime when I was walking outside. They said they will do the warehouse so that way, all of you guys would participate without leaving or they will do this to us like death. I do have some understanding Albert, but what I'm worried about is my wife and my son risking all of us that they will destroy Beyond City, which will be the end of the city as we know it. I know that you're frightened that the world will end, but if we are all in this situation going, the real truth is we all of us need to stick with us together, as a team. I guess you're right. We will do this no matter what we could. As always we could do this together as a family. Joseph, I will visit you for you. I will do this for you. Alright, my crew, this is it for our biggest plan tomorrow. Once they enter through this abandoned warehouse, you guys stick up if they tried to escape without finishing my sentences. As we all gather here at this warehouse, we are very sure everyone is what to do here in case they run away sir. Well, that's the case of your kind for words, but as we many of you guys, if let them escape and betray me, you guys are off the team, and I mean all of you. Got that? Oh, don't worry to you boss, we won't let you down as in our hands for our command that we will listen, and no matter what we try, we will still obey you as we want to. As the case goes, we will do this for all of us here. Great guys, so now, march your stations right through the entrance in case. Well, Jack Paul, this is it of you. You will obey me after once I finish you and your stupid friends, even my stupid minion Albert. Ha ha ha, I will see you tomorrow Jack Paul. And you'll soon. Well then Joseph, I hope you are prepared for what I am going to give you as an apology gift to you. And I promise you, man, I will owe you that you are grateful for you Joseph. See you tomorrow. Well this is it, the moment of our lives is here, and I gotta get ready and I will tell them to get ready for our plan of confrontation. Well then guys, and Jack Paul, this is all we are prepared for as of right now, we basically have to stick with the plan that Jack Paul taught us for three days and that we do this together as a family. I do agree with you Michael, but don't forget guys, I will give this an apology gift with an iPod inside, that way, he will forgive me and will change for him to be friends again. Well, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but, are you sure about going to an abandoned warehouse? We are very positive and 100% sure, but depends if we know the plan since we have to drive by it through the warehouse that they told you to do. Yep, so Albert, what we are going to do is to face to face with him even Jack Paul, and we will not leave or anyway, then otherwise, it's over for us. Well then if you said so if I can trust you guys. Well then guys. Shall we do this together in our own way? Well as always, we are doing this. Well, the way we go after we decide, I say yes, we do this as well. Well, then Albert, would you decide to join us on our team to win this? Well then, if I didn't join you guys in the first place, then this would be the end of us. And yes, I will join you guys for some action, for my family and the city of my hometown. 
Well everyone, looks like it's time for me, Tom Doe, Jack Paul, and Albert as well as for the team in action. So as the rest of us, we are the team of Michael's squad together. And we, we will help Jack, Jack Paul's old friend, friend Joseph from, from before trouble before it happens. Alright, so one thing, which we'll expect there in time at a moment, I want you guys to keep an eye on three little brats, but not Jack Paul since he will need to come over here during a conversation. Well as we command sir, once they came inside, I will keep their mouths shut, so that way they don't interrupt you in any way. Well then, we shall do this for you in case any bad happens when they disobey you, Joseph sir. Well then, let's do this for all of us including them as well, so you guys walk there right beneath the entrance into the gate. Got that? Oh yes, we do know it, boss. That is our way of doing this for us and the team. And you guys better not fail me or else you will be dead me for the rest of your life. Well, everyone, this is it. The moment we will have to enter is through the door that leads us to the entrance of a cashier that was abandoned since 2008. I know what you are experiencing, Jack Paul, but we got to do this for the team, remember? Yeah, I do remember about our plan. But anyway, let's get this over with so that way we can fix this nightmare and be soon done once and for all, so we can be great friends again. Well, guys. It's time to see him so I can apologize, but good luck to you guys. Well, we have hopes for you man. You can do this. Well, well, well. Look he finally showed up. The man who decided to prank me the way we used to do. But Joseph, we just stopped 20 years ago man, and you're still bringing it up about it. I do not give two craps, now, since you've dumped me twice, I'm going to end yours too, so that way, you'll see how you're treated now. But Joseph, before you do this by ending me, I need to ask you something. Like, what is it then, but make a quick you idiot. As I hereby, a worth apology to you about my own mistake, Joseph, what I came here for is, that I'm deeply sorry about each other and what we are against since high school after I pranked you so many times that you felt, and as my gratitude, I would like to give you this gift as your surprise present that you would like. Wait hold up, are you trying to trick me or something? No, of course not. Then otherwise you will end me, but just open it. Well then, sounds like a worthy choice for me, but I try- Not so fast you liar. What he is giving you is a trick, and I thought you were better than this, but you decide to change. But I don't think he is he- But he is trying to lie man, I'll take care of this. Take this you Wait. brainwasher. That's right Jack Paul you good for nothing piece of crap, you better shut your L mouth up and stay down, and that you've done to him, I will destroy your pathetic excuse present. Now. Pass it to me so we can accomplish the mission that you promised. But I have to open it first man, just wait for a moment. Look, I don't care about your own choice of yours. Now give it to me, now. Well, not this time idiot. You are not hurting his old friend you big stupid son of a brain dead of yours. Now first of all, how the hell have you three managed to get here without even getting my own voice? Well, let's just say. We call the police about your gang's action and what you've caused and paid for your crimes except for Joseph, so they are looking for you next buddy. You did what? Oh heck no, I am not letting that happen to me, and I mean, nobody. Well since you called it after my speech, you guys gonna have to catch Stop me Stop right there. Hey, you better stop that you bow. You better shut up. You are under arrest for committing crimes from your record and burning someone's house down by the fire and you've caused him to pay a total of $500 for taxes. That is right, and you will pay the fines for more than $1,500 for the damage that one of your gang's costs. Now, you have the right to remain silent. God damn it you guys. I will get you soon when I return. You haven't seen the last of me. I mean it. Well, Joseph, about the present I gave you. Well then, of course, now as I was saying, let's see what could it be. Wait, could that be? So, this is an apology gift that you've given me, I remember how one of my boys beat me up, smashed my own iPod, and then, you gave me a new one. Of course buddy, I am worth it for you so we can be us again, and be forgiven for one of our lives since high school. That's why we saved you Joseph, we helped you to get out of your own minds, that is why we have a plan to save you by preventing you, from getting arrested. Yeah, I guess you guys are right. I'm so sorry about my own behavior and your own house Jack Paul. Joseph, for once, I really appreciate you for apologizing to us after we fight, and you know, 
I will accept your apology for you buddy. Well then, shall we go see to my house for my wife and my son? Well, sure thing. Alright guys, let's go and get out of this place. Alright everyone, once we get to Michael Thomas's house, we are going to eat some steak for dinner as a celebration for our old friend. Well thank you guys, and if works out, this will be for our cool friends and a happy ending just for us. That is right Joseph, let's get there as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to the original maker of this movie. See you next time in the Vyond Cinema. This is Tom Doe, signing off.